today I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to say some things that are we ready? May shake Christianity a bit. Amen. <laughs> we ready. That's how we like it, Papa. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to talk about the book of wisdom. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And I'm not referring to Proverbs. Oh, we're getting deep today. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Tell somebody the book of wisdom. The book of wisdom. Say it louder for your neighbor. The book of wisdom. So that the people in the back can hear it. The book of wisdom. The book of wisdom. Amen. I know we've been touching on the matters of legalities, but I told you that everything I've been sharing was because of something I wanted to say. Amen. Are you still here? Are we here, Papa? And today, I want to take you into the heavens. Wow. Are we ready? Take us there. Hallelujah. We're going on a journey today. As I was sitting on my bed about a week or so ago, wow! because of the matters of legalities we've been touching on, the, <laughs> there was a visitation I received. Oh, wow. We ready, Papa. And I think I mentioned some things about it on Wednesday, but... The Lord said to me, stop eating on your bed. Amen. And I'm saying the Lord because if I say what really happened, some of you may. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> some of you may have problems with me. Wow. That's deep. <laughs> but a spirit came to me. To tell me not to eat on my bed wow. anymore. That's deep. Are you still there? We're here, yes. Papa. And gave me a couple of reasons why. You see, I'm not going to share that reason. Wow. Not, oh. not today. <laughs> oh, we're it was my visitation. <laughs> Amen. Whenever I feel like, you know, it's time to share it, I'll share it. Amen. But let me bask in my visitation. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You see, there are many things that I encounter, but I'm not one of those that every time something happens, I come to say it for you to know that I have experiences. I don't need to do that. That's real. Are you still there? We're here, Papa. But a spirit came to me, and I'm saying a spirit, and I didn't say the Holy Spirit. Mm. And notice I didn't say an angel. Wow. Oh, that's deep. <laughs> but a spirit entity came to me. Wow. And cautioned me concerning eating on my bed because I usually do a lot of things on my bed. You know, um, that's where I prepare a lot of the messages that you, you receive. Amen. <laughs> that's where my altar is. Amen. You see, and I'll teach you how to make your bed your altar, but that's another situation. Amen. Hallelujah. But that spirit was not a spirit like, you know, um, like I say, like you would say an angel or the Holy Spirit coming to talk to you. Because you must understand that there are spirits in this world known as spirit guides. Wow. Teachers, Bible. And any believer who do not understand this, it is the reason why you are constantly running into trouble during certain days of your life. Wow. Because you don't know that spirits are always engaging with you. Wow. That's deep. And I remember talking to you that there are good spirits and there are bad spirits. That's true. Please go and watch the teaching on, um, um, I think it's angels and spirits or something like that. That teaching, I made you understand that there are the good spirits and there are the bad spirits. And I'm not dealing with just angels. I'm talking about spirit beings. Wow. That's deep. 
I'm referring to spirit beings. Amen. There are the spirit beings of light. There are the spirit beings of the dark world. That's true. Are you still here? We're here, Papa. Spirit entities that roam about. Wow. That has been given, you know, uh, um, jurisdiction in this realm to operate with men legally. Wow. That's deep. Legally. The ones that break the laws are the ones that are, you know, working for Satan. Wow. Are you still here? We're here, Papa. But there are legal spirit entities that move about. And I'm not speaking about your guardian angel. Wow. I'm just talking about spirit entities. Teach us, Papa. This is where the knowledge of ghosts comes from. It is not just from wow. dead men. Oh, wow. That's deep. Because understand that you, you, you are not this body. Wow. You are a spirit being. Amen. That's true. So spirits have their realm. Amen. And some have been given access into this realm. Wow. But you are the spirit that was given flesh. Amen. And that is why you're called human. Wow. That's deep. That's good, Papa. That's Are you so still good. Here? Amen. We're so when here, we Papa. talk about spirits, everybody starts thinking it's some strange thing. No, you yourself, you are a spirit. That's true. This is your shell. Wow. Are you still there? We're here, Papa. So this spirit came to me and said to me, stop eating on your bed. But I knew it was the Lord <laughs> speaking. Because <sighs> Shagrabate. Amen. When you are listening to me speak as a spirit talking to you right now, you believe that the Lord is talking to you right now, don't you? That's true. All right. That's true. <laughs> Amen. Are you still here? We're here, Papa. Because you can't see the Lord, but there is the manifestation or the representation of who God is to men. Amen. It is the same way when you begin to dabble into matters of the spirit, you begin to have engagements with other spirit beings. Wow. And they bring you messages. That's so true. Because they have looked into divine archives. And wow. they are trying to help you understand how to live your life better. Wow. That's deep. Oh, that's deep. That's so good, Papa. Hallelujah. I'm speaking concerning the book of wisdom. I'm coming. Amen. <laughs> Are you still here, somebody? We're here, Papa. Am I talking to somebody Are here? Are you speaking to me? So, but somebody may ask, why would the angel or a being or a spirit entity, why would that spirit entity, especially the one that came to me, why would he come to me and talk to me about something so that seems so minor. Mm. Something as not eating on your bed. Why? What is... <laughs> Help us, Papa. What is the big deal about not eating on your bed? Wow. The problem you fail to understand is that the things that are normal to you in this world may be breaking laws in the spirit. Wow. That's deep. That's deep. Are you still here? We're here, Papa. What we allow in this realm, that's how come Paul says that there are things he had that if men were to say, it would be unlawful for a man to utter. Wow. It's in the word. In this realm. Yeah. Just as there are things that are happening in that realm that if we are doing here, they will consider it unlawful there. Wow, that's true. If you take some of the things you're doing here in the natural world to go into the spiritual world, it will be unlawful. Wow. It will be something that you will be breaking the laws of the spirit realm. Wow. Are you still there? We're here, Papa. So something as minor as eating on your bed can be looked at as a spiritual crime and you don't even know. Wow. Wow. That's because deep. you have not been exposed to all the counsel of God. That's true. I'm taking you somewhere. To uh, help us, Papa. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You have not been exposed to all the counsel of God. 
to know all there is to know about this great God, this mighty God, this awesome being. Amen. But you see, have you ever asked yourself, what makes this God so great? Wow. What makes him so big? What makes him so powerful? Have you ever asked yourself that question? Oh, yeah. Hmm. You see, Christianity as a religion will make you think that there is, that all that you have known is all there is to know. That's true. That's so true. Christianity as a religion will make you believe that all there is to know is what you have read in your Bible. That's so true. There's more to it. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to touch Christianity today. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, but you see, many people don't know that all the instructions of God that you see in the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. When you leave Christianity and you begin to dabble into spirituality, mm. spirituality teaches you that there are more instructions, wow. more laws of God than what you have seen in your Bible. Wow, that's deep. Spirituality begins to unveil to you more than what you have seen in your Bible. You see, all the laws of God you saw Moses giving to the nation of Israel. It was the laws for the nation of Israel as at that time. Wow. That's deep. It doesn't mean that's all the laws of God there are. That's so true. Your Ten Commandments is not the only. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Are you still here, somebody? We're here, Papa. All the laws of God from Genesis to Revelation is not all there is. Wow. So, but religion makes you think that you have only the Bible to teach you about the laws of God. That's so true. To teach you about the, 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 the precepts of God. To open you up to the instructions of God. Amen. So when I come and tell you a spirit being came to me to give me something you don't see in your Bible, you think I'm saying something off <laughs> because you don't understand something. That's so true. Which I'm about to show you today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Imagine. <laughs> I am telling you, it is not an angel who appeared to me. Wow. It's a spirit entity. That's deep. And throughout your life, what you have to learn is to walk with spirit beings. Wow. That's deep. Amen. There's a reason you must learn to walk with spirit beings. And I'm coming. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We ready for the word. There's a reason you must learn to walk with spirit beings. Amen. If you don't learn to walk with spirit beings, you find that you have a hard time. Wow. With life. That's deep. Are you still there? We're here, Papa. Am I talking to somebody? Oh, you speaking to me, Papa? Just speak in tongues for one moment, everybody. Ziba kanda da bara da bara da ba, ziba zede de 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 shere da bo, ziba zaba zaka na da bo, he shere da yoko na da bo, he she kamba ba kanda da bo, zika na da bara da bara da ba, he she bo kunda he she ye ye oshere da bo, ye kanda da bara ye shere da bo. Jesus name. In Jesus name. Are you still there, somebody? Are we here, Papa? Like I said, when you leave the Christian religion and you get into spirituality. You begin to understand that there are many more laws than what you have been shown in the Bible. Amen. So don't feel strange if I come and tell you um, not to eat certain foods on a certain day. Wow. That's deep. Oh, that's deep. 
<laughs> we get somewhere. Hallelujah. For example, if I tell you that you shouldn't buy sh certain sharp objects on Tuesday, what will you think? Wow. Oh, that's deep. <laughs> oh, that's deep. <laughs> Are we ready, Papa? <laughs> because Tuesday is a programming of God. Wow. wow. Monday, is a, there's a whole mystery concerning the days of the week. Wow. That's deep. And they have their specific programming. Wow. Oh, and sometimes the things you are doing on Monday, you are going against all that Monday should have. Wow. You are going against the laws of that day. Wow. That's deep. And you don't even know. That's no so wonder you are forfeiting certain benefits wow. for the day. The Bible says he daily loaded us with benefits. That's so true. But you see, if you don't understand the laws of the day, wow. you will lose the benefits of the day. Wow, that's so true. Help us, Papa. Hallelujah. We have a prophet. <laughs> you still there? Are we here, Papa? I'm trying to upgrade you into spirituality. Amen. I Are told you Christianity is more than what Amen. you think. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Are you still here? We here, Papa. The day will come. I would be teaching you on the days of the week. How they even came about. Wow. Glory. And the laws that govern each day. Oh, we ready, Papa. Why is it called Sunday? Wow. Because <laughs> the sun governs that day. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's deep. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Why is it called Monday? Because the moon governs that day. Wow. wow. That is deep. Help us, Papa. And in case you don't know, it is called Tuesday because Mars wow. governs that day. <laughs> oh, that's deep. It's a mystery since life. In French, it's called Mardi. Wow. Which means the day of Mars. Mars. Amen. Hey, you're still there. <laughs> Are we here, Papa? We soak it in. So, when you don't understand the laws of the day, you just leave the day anyhow. That's true. And then you wonder why you don't get your daily benefits that was promised you by the law. That's so true. Wow. Do you know if you can... <sighs> if you can understand this, there are so many blessings that you're supposed to walk into each day. I told you on, on Wednesday that Jesus came to give you life. But life, life more abundantly. abundantly. Amen. So understand that whatever you are experiencing now, if it's not more abundantly, you are not living the life Jesus came to give you. That's so true. Help us, Papa. So the daily benefits, benefits that are supposed to be the supply of God for that life that is more abundantly, you are not getting it. Wow. Because you don't understand laws. That's true. You are ignorant of laws. That's so true. And so whenever a preacher comes to teach you about laws, you think they are coming to attack your life. <laughs> That's so true. Yet they are connecting you to life. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you still here, somebody? Are we here, Papa? <laughs> Glory. So when I say spirituality teaches you that there is more instructions, more laws, than what you have seen written in your Bible. That's your Bible that you're holding. There are more laws of God. More instructions of God. Than what has been written in that Bible you're carrying. Amen. You see, when I say that, people start getting angry. Without understanding. That's true. Because they have been taught. That in the Bible. Is all there is to know about God. But that is a total lie. That's so true. That is a big lie. Your Bible is not all there is to know about God. That's so true. Follow me today. Amen. We're here, Don't. Papa. <laughs> We're here. Even your Bible does not foster that doctrine. Wow. Your own Bible doesn't teach that. That's true. <laughs> Take a step, Papa. The Bible doesn't say... 
that at all. Amen. It was an indoctrination of Western civilization to program you to look at something so that you don't look elsewhere. Wow, that's so true. All right. Oh, that's deep. That's so true. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the so Lord. So they told you that everything there is to know about God is in this Bible because they didn't want you to look elsewhere. That's so true. I'm coming. Amen. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, Hallelujah. Yeah. You still here? Are we here, Papa? You want to go somewhere where they can lie to you? No. no. All right. I'm no. about to bring some truths to you today. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. They were trying to limit you from having a certain understanding and knowledge of the creator or about the creator so that they can have control over the masses. Wow. So they pointed you to one thing and told you that was all you needed to know about God. Wow, that's so true. But it was a deception. Wow. First of all, <laughs> those who may be against what I'm saying right now, if you are against what I'm saying right now, it is because, first of all, you have been told to believe that the Bible that you are holding is the full knowledge of God. That's right. And the reason you are angry with me is not because you have researched what they told you that's, for yourself. That's real. You just picked something up. Since you were a child and you're walking with it, now it's become your revelation and your understanding of things. I'll go there, Papa. So anybody that comes with another idea seems to be somebody going against the grain. That's real. Going against the status quo. That's real. Because all you have been shown is that this book is the only book that tells you about God. That's so true. And anybody else who comes with any other words seems to be, you know, what they call, uh, uh, um, how do you call it, um, heretic. That's true. Because their own knowledge of being heretic is to say something that the Bible did not say. That's real. That's so real. <laughs> uh, go there, Papa. You see how they have programmed things for you. That's so true. So you are afraid to be called a heretic. And that is why you don't want to say anything that goes against what the Bible has said. That's real. That's ah. real. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But you never went to research it for yourself. That's so to true. To find out if what they told you was true. That's so true. And I tell you, even your Bible does not believe what they told you. That's so true. Go there, Papa. <laughs> Are we ready? <laughs> Amen. Your Bible does not believe. That's real. That the Bible is the only book. <laughs> That's real. Oh, dear Jesus. Are you still there? Are we here, Papa? Am I talking to somebody? Oh, you speaking to me. So you are angry with me, but you have not done your personal research. All you are carrying in your head is what you have been told. That's so true. If you are truthful and honest with yourself, your defense of the Bible being the only book that speaks about God, if you are truthful and honest with yourself, you will know that it is coming from something you have been indoctrinated about. That's true. Not something you personally went and researched. Wow. To know the truth of the Bible. Amen. The Bible is not a book of lies. That's real. Are you still here? We're here, Papa. It tells you truth. Amen. However, it is not the only reference about God. That's so true. Are we here, Papa? <laughs> I know you're panicking. Don't panic for me. I know how to defend what I say. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> Are you still here? Are we here, Papa? If you are angry with me, let me ask you one question. The Bible that you are defending, what is the meaning of Bible? Wow. Man, think it like that. Oh, yeah. I want to know. <laughs> Please raise your hands. I want to know. <laughs> Amen. 
please <laughs> raise your hands. <laughs> All of you here <laughs> that you have been told <laughs> what this Bible is, is the word of God. And so you are defending the Bible. Please explain to me what is the meaning of Bible. Wow. I just need three people. Try. Just try. <laughs> Amen. If you're online, also try. Can you start over here? <laughs> Instructions before leaving earth. <laughs> you see. <laughs> the Bible is a set of instructions. Uh-huh. That some people came about and they came across it. Based on the limitation of their understanding, uh -huh. told us that is the word of God and it ends there. Okay. <laughs> you see, you guys are still not answering my, my question. I say, what is the meaning of Bible? Wow. You see? <laughs> <laughs> are you still here? We hear about Please, people. let's find out what people are saying online. Amen. <laughs> Amen. No, the people who are defending the Bible, ask them this question. What is the meaning of Bible? They can't tell you. <sighs> are you still here? Oh, we here, Papa. Let's, let's just go. I guess I know you. I'll keep getting some answers. <laughs> Listen to me. The word Bible is the Greek word biblios. Wow. Which means a compilation of books. Wow. Our teachers, Papa. Hello, somebody. Yeah. Are we here, Papa? That word Bible simply means a, a, a bunch of books put together to make one, to form one book. That's true. Bible. Wow. That's the meaning. <laughs> it does not mean the word of God. <laughs> wow. That's the, oh, go there, Papa. <laughs> go there, Papa. <laughs> but that's what you have been told. That's so true. It does not mean the word of God. Yes, God spoke his word to men who wrote it. That's true. But that book that you see is a compilation of books that in it had the word of God spoken to men. That's true. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Teach us, Papa. Are you still here? We're here, Papa. When we are not able to define this, this is why people from other religions, they say our God is a murderer. Wow. Because they say, we are calling that the word of God. So when people were being enslaved, That's so true. that means God was agreeable to it. Yeah. When people were being killed, when children were being massacred, that means God was agreeable to it. It is because they are not able to separate the book from the word of God. That's so true. Oh, that's deep. That's so good, Papa. That's so good. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You're still here. Are we here, Papa? It's this, this ignorance that makes us in, unable to answer the hard questions that come to us. That's so and true. And these questions are not even hard. It's because you lack understanding. That's so true. Are we ready, Papa? You're still with me here. Are we here? I'm still journeying. I haven't even started. Amen. <laughs> so, it is not... <sighs> the Bible is not all there is to know about God. Please understand what I'm saying. We are going to find time to actually explain how the Bible came into its canonization. Wow. And the processes of that canonization as to how the 66 books of the Bible were chosen. Wow. But if I can tell you, there were more books at first. This was the last canon. Wow. Wow, that's so true. There was the initial canon. And then... <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are you still Papa. here, somebody? Are we here, Papa? You see, my church is on this side today. Amen. I don't know about Hallelujah. people. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Glory. Glory. You're still here. Are we here, Papa? But you see, 
This misconception is what we are running with, even in our own life. That's so true. That is why we can't experience God like the people in this Bible. Wow. Go there, Papa. We cannot see manifestations like the people in this Bible because all you have been exposed to is what you see there. That's so true. You're still with me, somebody. Are we here, Papa? So, you see, your pastor should. <laughs> Come on now. Your pastor should be one that comes to you to tell you the truth. Amen. Not one, one that hides the truth from you. That's so true. When you hide the truth from someone, when they find out the truth, they will mark you as a liar. That's so true. But they don't know that you didn't even know better. You were just propagating what you had. That's so real. Without studying. That's real. That is why Paul said to the pastor Timothy, study to show thyself Self approved. approved. Don't word. just take things and run with it. That's As real. a man of God, go into study. This vocation, you will be charged for many things that you say. Wow. That is why I'm so afraid to say certain things without looking into it. Wow. That's deep. That's why I study. Because I know I am responsible as a teacher for the things I say to people that are not true. Wow. That's deep. That's so good, Papa. Thank you, Papa. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So, you see, your pastor may be afraid to tell you this because they think they are, they think that, you know, we, you know I am, <laughs> when you say the Bible is not the only book that expresses God and the knowledge of God, they think that you are discrediting the Bible. I didn't discredit the Bible. I just said it's not the only book. That's true. I didn't say it was not an authentic, authentic book. I said it's not the only book. That's true. Let me push this a little bit. Amen. Go there, Papa. <laughs> because they think it's a holy book. Who said it was holy? Wow. Oh, Who indeed. gave you that impression? <laughs> wow. Go there, Papa. <laughs> Open your eyes, Papa. God never said this book was holy. Who told us the book was holy? That's so true. Who told us that? It is part of that indoctrination to only make you look here yes. and nowhere else. That's so real. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Oh, that's so good, Papa. God never said these particular 66 books are holy. Yeah. Only look here. That's so real. And because you have seen it in all your Bible, let me see your Bible. Those of you physical Bibles, please turn to the first. Let's go to the cover. <laughs> Maybe they didn't write it on this one. Usually Bibles will say, Holy Bible. That's so true. <laughs> you see this one? <laughs> you see? You see that? Holy Bible. Who told us that this book is a Holy Bible? Wow. That's real. Did God say that? Wow. See, I'm not afraid to say these things because I have knowledge. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. But they wanted to make you only see what is in here and nowhere else. So they put it the Holy Bible. Wow. That's deep. So that to, to fool you, to deceive you, that there is no other information about God anywhere else. But here, that's why this one is holy. That's so real. <laughs> <laughs> that's real. Help us, Papa. And to even think that one book can contain all there is to know about God is actually is the height, heightenedness of all foolishness. That's so true. The God you claim as big as he is, yeah. he can be explained by a book. One book. That's so real. One book. That's so real. Go there, Papa. Hallelujah. As great as he is, he can only be explained from one book. That's real. Something is wrong with you. That's so real. That's so real. Listen, 
Before the year runs out, I will cause trouble for Christianity. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. And next year, next year is another level. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Only that's supernatural. Are you still here? We're here. I'm asking you, what makes the Bible holy? And who said it was holy? Can you tell me? You see, you can't even define what you are talking about. That's real. Because if you ask most pastors, what makes the Bible holy? They can't explain. That's so and who real. said it was holy? That's deep. Because when you say something is holy, it means that this is separated among all others. Wow. And this is the only one that is hallowed. Because you think you can find God only in one book. That's your problem. That's deep. You're still with me, people. Oh, we're here with you, Papu. I didn't say it was not authentic. That's real. <laughs> I didn't say what was said there was not true. That's Did true. I say that? No, you didn't say it. I'm coming to the translations very soon. Wow. The translations of the Bible. I'm coming very soon. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You must be healed of your ignorance. Amen. Must. Amen. We can't go where we need to go to. In the plan of God for this age, if you are still keeping such myopic mentalities and so, such uh, um, uh, uh, imprisonment of mindsets. That's so true. You will never see more than what you are experiencing. That's true. If you continue to maintain the same status quo, you know, information you have been given by the church. That's so true. You will never experience more of God. That's real. The reason you are crying out for more and nothing is showing forth, it is because your mindset is what is holding you bound. That's so true. Go there, Papa. Help us, Lord. And until you awaken and break free, from this religious hold in your mind. Guys, <laughs> you are too close. <laughs> are you still here? Oh, we're here, Papa. If you don't break away from this religious hold, I tell you the truth. We will never, as a church, be able to defend our cause. That's so true. And we'll never be able to establish the kingdom of heaven on earth. Wow. You're still with me, somebody? Are we here with you, Papa? Am I talking to somebody here? Are you speaking to me? You see, do you know, do you know, the globe, wow. the globe, the globe of the world. Yes, Papa. That people usually have in their offices. Yep. Do you know it was created for decoration? Wow. If you like, go on Google. Wow. Are we gonna it was not telling you the reality of the map of the world. Wow. Oh, that's deep. Oh, go there, Papa. <laughs> go there. The globe. Research it right now. Go on Google. Wow. It was designed first for decoration. Wow. But that decoration was supposed to give you a certain programming. Wow. Oh, that's deep. Because the truth of the matter is what you see on the globe, it is not the actual size of the earth. Wow. Oh, that's deep. This is revelation right here. First of all, Africa, Africa, listen. The Africa that you see there is 10 times bigger than what you see. Wow. Africa alone. That's deep. That's deep. Hey, you still there? Oh, we're here, Papa. <laughs> But it was designed as a decoration to change perception. Wow. Because the only way you can be controlled, you see, when you look at your TV and the things that keep coming to you, it gives you a certain way of thinking. That's so true. And so now that I'm coming to tell you that Africa is 10 times bigger than what you see, you think that I'm coming against what you have believed. That's so real. But you don't know the very belief you have came as a result of what they were putting in your face. Wow. That's deep. That's so true. It's the same thing they did with the Bible. Wow. I'll so anybody ahead. who comes and speaks against that image is now in error. Is now a heretic. 
not understanding that what you were told was not even right. Wow. So why do you call me a heretic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's deep. I am only a heretic if what you believe is true. But we have to start from what you believe. Let's know if it's true first before you call me a heretic. That's real. Go there, Papa. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Are you still here, somebody? Are we here, Papa? Anytime, say, if it's not in the Bible, <laughs> then it's not of God. Who told you everything that is of God is in the Bible? That's so true. You see so many like that. Oh, we here, Papa. So they put the globe in front of our eyes and made us believe that's how the world really looks like. That's so true. Because there were things they wanted to hide from you. Wow. Oh, that's deep. So they gave you something to be fond of. Wow. And because many people believed in it, you thought it was right. And that's your problem. Wow. When you see many people believing in something, you think that many people believing in that same thing makes it right. That's your problem. Wow. That's so true. That's your problem. You are moved by trends. That's real. Trends. What is trendy is what you think is truth. Yet a lot of the times, what is trending is for deception. Wow. wow. That's deep, Papa. That's a gem right it's there. It's for deception. Just know that in your head. When wow. you start seeing people doing certain things on social media, there is a reason why. Wow. Because they are trying to get your attention away from something. That's so true. Go there, Papa. This is so good, Papa. And they use your celebrities and your celebrity pastors and whoever. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> to propagate those things on their social media. When you see them doing it, anybody who comes down and speaks against Beyonce, we know, we saw Beyonce's concert. We saw her concert. Yep. Right there, we see image of satanic beings. Yeah. That's real. Nobody, listen, it is, Come on. it doesn't make sense so how good. you can see something so clear and still be against. You think that you, <laughs> they call you, they give you a term. You see, this is what they, just as they have given us heretics. They will call you conspiracy theorists. That's real. Because when you begin to, you know, receive that, you, you will not want to say the truth because you are afraid of being labeled. That's so real. But until we break this bondage, we will still be as captives in the hands of people who are supposed to be our servants. That's so true. You're still with me here. Are we here, Papa? Anytime you see something tre trending, judge it by the spirit. That's so real. Don't just follow it. There are things when they start doing on social media. You see all these, you know, facial things and stuff on social media. When I look at them, I'm like, this don't understand. That's real. You don't understand what the devil is programming your mind for. That's so real. And you think now that's now virtual reality is slowly becoming reality. Yeah. Wow, that's so deep. Yep. Things that <laughs> things that don't even exist is now becoming a reality. Yeah. That's so real. And you see, they are making money off of it now. You know, I was watching one TikTok, you know, they were acting like animated objects. Wow. And people were giving likes and giving them money. I'm like, this, you are, oh, Jesus. Wow. This is how you're wasting your money. <laughs> <laughs> That's so real. <laughs> and TikTok is paying them because it's a programming. That's real. Lord help if us. they take this video down, it's because I'm trying to tell you the truth. <laughs> if they take it down, it's a sign. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and then they will call it misinformation. What nonsense. That's so real. <laughs> and then they can never tell you where, where you misinform people. Yep. yep. They just label it misinformation. That's what they were doing to us during COVID. That's so true. When doctors were coming with the real information... They didn't hear. They called them misinformation. Now, now CDC has agreed with the doctors. What are they saying now? Yeah. Go and there, people Papa. still believe CDC. Yeah. Yet CDC was lying from the beginning. Yep. Yeah. Go there, Papa. Go there. Go there. We have a problem. Yeah. Hallelujah. And 
now they've come up with the truth. They are now telling us the truth. Hello. Are we here, Papa? Judge by the spirit, people. Amen. You follow trends, you enter the pit. That's real. I'm serious. You have to have a separate mind. And anybody who has a different mind is chastised. That's real. They want to make an example of you. That's real. So that others don't speak up. That's real. Even in your field, when you notice that something is error and you begin to point it out, they will say, ah, this one, you think you know better than us. That's real. Because you are going against the system they have been operating. Wow. They don't want change. That's because true. they are benefiting from the lie. That's true. That's why they don't want change. That's why they attack anybody who speaks the truth. That's real. That's not what I came to talk to you about today. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. But imagine, the globe that you have in your house, that's not the real. Africa is 10 times bigger. And there are more things if I tell you. <laughs> they may come for my they may come for my channel. <laughs> Amen. But these things are already out there. You see. But my job is not to come and you know be telling you, you know, things about the world. Go do your own research. I'm here to preach the word of God. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I didn't say I'm here to preach the Bible. I said I'm here to preach the word of Amen. God. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory. The Bible is simply a tool by which we understand the mind of God. That's true. And the ways of God. Amen. It is one of the tools. It is not the only tool. Amen. You're still with me, somebody. Are we here, Papa? So, if someone can tell me what simply Bible means... You can't question me about the things I'm saying. That's true. Because when I asked you, what does Bible mean? You didn't know where to go <laughs> and where to come from. That's true. So listen to someone that has the information. That's true. Don't because of your religious titles. You think that somebody who is speaking to you, or maybe because of how much crowd you have, doesn't have the information, doesn't have the right information. It doesn't mean anything. That's real. The fact that you have a lot of people coming after your, you or, or following you doesn't mean you are speaking the truth. That's real. Amen. Satan, Satan, let half of <laughs> the host of heaven, a third of the host of heaven, out of heaven. You know what that means. Doesn't mean that when you have a mass following you, it means that you are something. That's real. If you're judging your life by that, this is why you cannot know your place with God. That's so true. That's a gem. Because how God judges men is not the way we judge men. That's real. So somebody may be looking at me and say, who is this small boy talking about this? Me, I've been in ministry for 40 years. He wants to come and undo ancient landmarks. Who <laughs> said they were landmarks? That's real. You are the ones who spoke about those things. Your fathers also spoke about them. Many of you who have believed that these are landmarks, they are not. That's true. Some of the things you call ancient landmarks are not landmarks at all. Wow. That's deep. And so when we come and correct it, you call us heretics. Let's know first if what you believe is the truth before Amen. you say I'm a heretic. Amen. Hallelujah. You're still here. We're here, Papa. And I tell you, even the Bible does not believe the Bible is the only book. Wow. <laughs> Let me show you something. Amen. Show us, Papa. Second Chronicles chapter 33. Amen. Verse 18. I'm taking you to many places today. Thank you, Papa. Amen. Second Chronicles chapter 33. The verse 18. Uh-huh. Now the rest of the acts of Manasseh. 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 That we're just dealing with Manasseh. One of the sons of Joseph. Amen. In his prayer unto his God. Uh-huh. In the words of the seers that spoke to him in the name of the Lord God of <laughs> and Israel. And the words of the seers. The seers. Wow. 
<laughs> in the word. There's a lot in there. That speak to him in the name of the Lord God. Are you still here? Oh, we're here, Papa. Manasseh was a man who understood God Amen. and had dealings with God and prayed unto God. And the Bible is letting us know about the words, the, the acts of Manasseh. Wow. Based on his relationship dealings in prayer with God. Amen. Are you following here? Oh, we're here, Papa. And then the Bible says there were also words that he got from the seers. Wow. That spoke to him in the name of the Lord God of Israel. Wow. Who were these seers? That's Do we true. know them? That's true. Do we understand who they are? They were more than what you have seen in your Bible. Wow. More prophets than what you have named. All the Elijah guys and the Jeremiah. These are just but a few. That's so true. I'm coming. Okay. <laughs> Amen. Are you still here? Oh, we're here, Papa. Then it goes for to say, behold, they are written in the book of the kings of Israel. It's in the Where's word. that book? Yeah. Wow. That's so good, Papa. That's so good. Oh, you only have first kings and second kings. That's you real. don't have the book. Wow. That's deep. You're still here. Oh, we're here, Papa. <laughs> there is an entire manuscript concerning the details of the kings of Israel. Wow. That the seers spoke about the acts of Manasseh that he did, which we still don't know. Wow. That's deep. That explains and expresses the fullness of God. Wow. Where are these books? But the Bible is recommending that book. That's real. It's telling you that there are more books. Amen. Yet you think the Bible is the only book. That's Yet so the real. Bible is telling you that there are more books. That's so true. That explains a lot more than what your Bible has said. Wow. You're still in this place. Are we here, Papa? Second Kings. <laughs> Second Kings. Chapter number 10, verse 34. Amen. Second Kings, chapter 10, the verse 34. Uh-huh. The Bible says, now the rest of the acts of Jehu. The rest, that means these are not all that you have seen about Jehu. Wow. Everything we have said about Jehu is not all there is. Wow. The rest of this, go find the, <laughs> go find the book. Where the rest of the acts of Jehu is written. Wow. Same thing they said with Manasseh. The rest of the acts of Manasseh. That's true. They are written in the books of the in the book of the kings of Israel. Wow. The rest of the acts of Jehu. All that and all that he did and all his might are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel? Wow. It's in the word. You see, when you say chronicles, you are not just dealing with a book anymore. That's true. You are dealing with books. Have you seen the book, The Chronicles of Narnia? That's, yep, it's books it. upon, it's like editions. That's real. But this is only the rest <laughs> of the Acts of Jehu that are written in the chronicles of the kings of Israel. That means there are chronicles upon chronicles upon chronicles. Wow. That's the books upon books upon books concerning the kings of Israel wow. and what was written about them, their dealings with God, whether in disobedience or in obedience, just as we see in the Bible. The matters of other kings, they are the rest of the acts of Jehu. Wow. And these are not the only two scriptures. I don't have time to go into all of them. There wow. are many more scriptures in your Old Testament. Wow. That tells you the rest of the acts of Josiah are written in the books of the prophet Josiah. Wow. Even prophets, they had their books. That's deep. It's in your Bible, though. Yeah. It's in the Bible. It is not only <laughs> Elijah that you are know you have known. That was the only prophet. Wow. I'm taking you somewhere. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Take a step, Papa. I think only my daughter here is excited to get Amen. there. Amen. <laughs> We're here, Papa. Yeah. Hallelujah. So now, if your Bible is talking about other books, recommending for you other books, he says, these are the rest. All the Bible gave you was just a few. Wow. They are chronicles. Chronicles of matters of the kings of Israel. Yet all you saw was King David, King Solomon, <laughs> King Ezra, all the ones that you are used to. That's true. But there are more. Wow. That's deep. Books of the prophets, I, you can't even number. Wow. Too many. Too many. Wow. It's not only the prophets that you see that have written their books in the Bible. There were even prophets who wrote many manuscripts. Only one was picked out. Wow. Do you know Paul wrote many letters? Yeah. It's not all <laughs> the letters we are seeing. Wow. That's true. Peter wrote many letters. It's not all the letters you are seeing. That's true. <laughs> That's deep. So, you want to use the Bible to explain to us God, yet you don't have all the information. Wow. That's true. You're still there. Are we here, Papa? The Bible even says, Jesus, Jesus, your Lord, your Savior, Amen. the one you trust. Amen. The same Jesus, right? Amen. You know what he said. <laughs> I'll go there, Papa. The Bible said concerning Jesus that all the things that he did and said, the books, Yo. if they were to be written, and Jesus is the one who came to fulfill and to complete the laws of God. So everything that he said, they couldn't write all of them. Wow. That's the, it's true, it's in the word. I'm talking about the expanse of the knowledge of God. Amen. The dealings with men and God. And the laws God gave to them. Amen. The instructions God spoke to them. All of that. Jesus alone. What he said. What he said cannot be contained in the books. Wow. And you are telling me this is the only thing that reveals God. That's real. It is either we are so blind or we are too dumb. That's real. I'm telling you, it is the truth. That's real. There must be a real serious blindness that has been given to us by the devil or by whoever. Or we are too dumb to notice things. That's real. Because it is as plain as day. Your Bible is telling you, Jesus alone, the things he said... If they were to be written, that means we are missing out on that information. That's real. Because they were not written. We didn't see it here. Then the Bible goes further to say, are you still here? Are we here, Papa? <laughs> I need to put this to bed so that I can take you somewhere. Amen. <laughs> then the Bible goes further to say, Jesus himself said. You see all the things I've said, guys? You see everything I've said? Yes, Papa. That the books cannot contain it. Yep. He said, there are still things I have not said because you, are, <laughs> you cannot bear it. That's real. Paul himself said, there are many things I would like to say, but you cannot bear it. So he didn't write everything he knew. Wow. There's more to God. And you are telling me, excuse me. You are telling me this book is all there is to know about the great God, Jehovah. That's real. <laughs> That's real. Again, it is either we are too blind or too dumb. That's real. So they said, holy Bible. Wow. So you never look anywhere else. That's deep. I am challenging any pastor right now. Please wow. come and defend these things I'm saying. You know. Say something. I want to hear your own. <laughs> Amen. This is the reason why when they ask you questions there, the, the people from other faiths 
Or people who don't even believe in God ask you questions you can't answer. That's real. That's so real. Because you have been perpetuating a lie for too long, you are trying to defend the lie instead of just acknowledging the truth. That's true. It matters who is talking to you people. That's so true. It matters, the instructor in your ears, because if they are limited in their understanding, you can never go far. That's real. Never. That's real. Amen. We have a prophet. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, it Lord is Jesus. better. It is better for a preacher to say, I don't know everything. I don't understand this thing yet. Than to lie and make you believe that what he knows is all there is to know. That's so real. That what it is, you see in the Bible is all there is to know. It is a lie. It is a lie. Amen. Jesus said many things that they couldn't write. That's true. Then he told them, there are still more things I want to tell you, but you cannot bear it. That's deep. But I will go. And when I go, I will send the bearer of all truths. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Who will guide you into all realities? Wow. Whatsoever I have said unto him, he will make known of you. Wow. He will make it known unto you. So, who is the master teacher? The Bible or the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit. You see your problem. Wow. You are focused on the letter. Not the spirit that wrote the letter. That's so true. That's deep. That's deep. And then you judge people who come and tell you things by their spiritual experience. Heretics. That's deep. You are too focused on the letter. You have ignored the spirit that brought about the letter. Amen. That's a gem, Papa. Hallelujah. Because that will... Expose that you are not in the spirit. That's true. That's why you're holding on to the letter. That's true. You don't have a relationship with that spirit. That's so true. It would expose your deficiency. Oh, that's deep. That's deep. <laughs> that's deep. I still haven't started my message. Amen. Believe me. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. This house is a place of knowledge. Amen. When you come there, ready to ready to unlearn. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we receive the knowledge. We receive all the knowledge. Are you still here? Oh, we're here, Papa. Jesus says the Holy Spirit will come and guide you into all truths. Now the question is. Do you know the ways by which the Holy Spirit brings truth to you? Wow. Oh, he just said something right there. Yeah. Come on. So he said, by the word of God. <laughs> That's so real. <laughs> but the word of God says that not everything was written here. That's real. And Jesus told us the Spirit will show us all truth. Whatsoever he has not said. Wow. So you can't come and say this is the only way the Holy Spirit talks to you. Because this way is telling you that Jesus didn't say everything. Plus, <laughs> what he said, this book could not contain all of it. That's so true. So how can you tell me this is the only way the Holy Spirit now will come and talk to us about everything else? Wow. It doesn't make any sense. It does not add up. That's deep. That's so true. But you see, you have been trained, conditioned to defend this holy Bible. <laughs> That's so real. <laughs> That's so real. <laughs> Guard it with your life. You see, when you see house burned and a Bible is not burned. Oh, go there, Papa. It adds more to that impression. That's so deep. That's so true. But there are other places where the Bible is burnt. You don't say anything. <laughs> that's so real. Ah. <laughs> oh, that's deep. <laughs> you some salt you see, we have this double standard where we, when something miraculous happens, we hold on to it. 
But we don't also see the times where the Bible was burnt. That's real. That's true. It is a matter of who had the Bible. Wow. It's not a matter of the book. Wow. Oh, that's deep. You didn't hear. That's deep right there, Papa. Hallelujah. Glory. Whose Bible was it? Now, that's real. <laughs> that's because real. a Bible you'd never read will be burnt in fire. Wow. Believe me. Wow. If fire were <coughs> was to come to your house and that Bible is on one place like you've never touched it, it will be burnt. Believe me. Wow. <laughs> Go there, Papa. <laughs> Are we here, Papa? Are you here? <laughs> Are we here, Papa? It is about who had the Bible and what were they doing with it. Yep. That's what authenticates what doesn't get burnt and what gets burnt. Wow. That's deep. Should I close my message now? Oh, no. Keep going, Papa. <laughs> Are we learning, Papa? <laughs> but you see, when you see the mystical experience of a Bible not being burnt, you say, oh, the Holy Bible, Holy Bible. <laughs> That's real. Holy Bible. <laughs> Too holy. God is defending his word. <laughs> <laughs> Foolish people. Oh, that's deep. Oh, that's deep. <laughs> Glory to God. Glory. Hey, human beings. <laughs> so, the question is, the Holy Spirit that Jesus gave to us to guide us into all truths, what are the ways by which he brings truth to us. Is it only with a book? Emphatically, no. Which is a matter for another day. Wow. But one of the ways is this spirit that appeared to me. Wow. To tell me a certain truth I did not know. That's real. That will help my cause in life. Amen. And when I say that, I say, ah, this guy, a demonic guy. Prophet Glovis, which <laughs> he doubles with spirits. You, you are a spirit. And we deal with you. <laughs> oh, go there, Papa. Go there. Hallelujah. <laughs> you see, you are too blind to your own reality. <laughs> That's why you curse other people because you don't understand what's going on. That's real. You're ignorant. That's deep. He talks about talking to spirits. How can he do that? When you talk to your friend, you think you are talking to your to a body. You are talking to a spirit. That's real. That's deep. Hello. Are we here, Papa? <laughs> what makes you real? It's not this flesh. That's why when you leave this realm into another realm, the body remains here because you don't need it. The real essence is the one inside. Wow. Yep. The death of the body is a sign that is not your reality. That's true. Because whatever God created is not supposed to die. That's so true. The essence and the image of God is not supposed to die. Do you that's, understand? That's true. Amen. That's why you go to hell. You never die. You are still living. You are still. <laughs> that's real. The image of God can never die. Wow. It is the body that is dead. That's real. You don't understand these things. You make a mess. Of your Christian experience. Wow. People of God. Man of God. People of God. Man of God. The Holy Spirit has been given to guide us into all truths. All truths. All there is to know about God. And there are many ways by which he brings these truths to us. Wow. It is not in the Bible that we find all there is to know about God. That's true. However, there is a book that you can find out all there is to know about God. Wow. Which is in an eternal archives. Wow. It is called the book of wisdom. Amen. That's deep. It is that book that holds the ancient realities. Wow. Of all the truths of God. Wow. Because wisdom, he grew up with God. Wow. That's deep. 
That's deep. Amen. Uh, Hallelujah. Are you still here? Oh, we here, Papa. Let me show it to you. Amen. We ready for the word. <laughs> hmm. The book of Job. Amen. The book of Proverbs, rather. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 30. Amen. Wisdom grew up with God. Wisdom knows everything there is to know about God. The everything there is to know about God, wisdom has that information. Because wisdom grew up with God. Amen. Let's read this. The book of Proverbs the chapter 8, the verse 30. Uh huh. Then I was by him. Then I was by This is wisdom. Let's start from uh, verse 25. Let's start from there. Amen. Before the mountains were settled, mm -hmm. before the hills was I brought forth. Mm -hmm. While this, as yet. This is wisdom talking. Amen. If you read from the verse 1 all the way down, it's wisdom speaking. Amen. Let's read from the verse 1 and the verse 2, and I'll tell you to skip some verses for me. Amen. Uh huh. Doth not wisdom cry, uh -huh. and understanding put forth her voice. Uh -huh. She stand in the top of high places, uh -huh. by the way, in the places of the paths. Mm -hmm. She cried at the gates, at the entry of the city, mm -hmm. at the coming in at the doors. Mm -hmm. Unto you, O men, I call, mm -hmm. and my voice is to the sons of men. It says, wisdom says, my voice is to the sons of men. My attraction is the sons of men. Wow. Wisdom wants to be introduced to you. Wow. Hallelujah. That's deep. But you are too busy looking at a book. When wisdom who came up with God wants to be introduced to you. Wow. That's deep. Oh, that's so good. Now, Papa. let's go to the verse, <laughs> the, the verse 30. Is it the verse 30? Amen. Then I was by him. He's talking about God. I was by him. As one brought up with him. As one brought up with him. And I was daily Wait, wait. Delight. That means when God was a child. Wow. Wisdom was with him as a child. That's deep. <laughs> that's deep. Oh, Someone indeed. says, how can you say when God was a child? Didn't we see it in the life of Mary? Wow. <laughs> Are you still here? We're here. Ah, Jesus. Oh, it is because you don't understand the spiritual communication of what a child is. And so that's why you are still, you know, thinking as a, you are, you are looking at it from the point of view of, you know, a little baby. Wow. That's deep. When God was a child, simply means when God had not fully expressed himself. Wow. Because as you see, God is still expressing himself. That's so He's true. He's not done. Oh, that's deep. That is why the Bible says, for you to know the manifold wisdom. Amen. The manifold wisdom. That means a wisdom that is always revealing itself. Wow. Oh, that's deep. The manifold wisdom. There are many layers to it. Amen. This is deep. Till eternity, you will not be able to exhaust all there is to know. Wow. But wisdom had been with him from the start. Wow. When God began to express himself, Amen. wisdom was there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. Wisdom was there. Amen. He says, then I was by him as one brought up with him. And I was daily his, de his delight. Daily his delight. Every day wisdom was with God. I was daily his, de his delight. Wow. Rejoicing always before him. But look at the next verse. Rejoicing in the habitable part of the earth. And my delight were with the sons of men. Wow. wow. Oh, that's it's in the word. You see, there is this wisdom that the sons of men, we are supposed to walk in. Because wisdom delights to walk with us. Wow. He wants us to know everything there is to know about this being he grew up with. 
Wow. When God started creating, when God started expressing himself, the first entity that he introduced was wisdom. Wow. wow. That's deep. That's and deep. wisdom began to take the records of everything. So there is a book in the eternal archives known as the book of wisdom. Wow. In it holds every information. And every so often, the benevolence of God will introduce to angels, to men, to prophets, to people all around, to entities. Simple. <laughs> wow. That's deep. Small, small about this book. <laughs> wow. And they will come and share some. Wow. That's some deep. they will not share until you have found your way into a certain place. Wow. Some you would have to grow into a certain level. You have to come into a certain awakening. Amen. Before certain wisdom about God is introduced to you. Wow. See, right now, if you cannot receive astrology, there are bigger things you cannot receive. Wow. Because you are failing to receive astrology right now. That's you deep. are being limited from the next level. Wow. That wisdom wants to show you. Wow. That's deep. You think remaining ignorant like that is, is, is hurting me. It's hurting you. That's true. It does nothing to me when you remain in your ignorance. That's true. But people don't like who comes to them and expound on these things. Because it would mean that you would have to wake up. That's true. And you have to own up to your ignorance. That's real. Preachers will have to say, I didn't know much. That's real. I have many people who have listened to me. They are in their 60s, they are 70s. They say, I wish I knew you when I was a child. Wow. I'm like, you are older than me. <laughs> How do you wish you knew? <laughs> <laughs> but they are trying to communicate a certain thing. Yes. That these things that you are saying, hey, I wish you were there when I was young. That's real. Because right now, I am wisdom personified to them. Yeah. I should have been brought up with them. Wow. Oh, that's deep. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, that's so good, Papa. Ah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Are you still here? We're here, Papa. And this being, wisdom, talks to me every day. Come on. Wow. Every day. Communicate. He's communicating to you also. She's communicating to you also. But you are not getting it. You are not catching it. Wow. Because you don't know how to deal with spirits. That's deep. You don't know when God is the one speaking and when a spirit entity is talking. Wow. You don't know the difference. That's deep. That's why I tell you not to miss the conferences because that's how I take you into that realm. Amen. Hallelujah. Hello, somebody. Oh, we're here, Papa. It is. Ah, Jesus. This is deep. Wisdom. Can we read it in the Amplified, please? Amen. The verse 30 and the verse 31. Hallelujah. And then in the message as well. For the Amplified, verse 30. Then I was beside him. I was beside him. As a master craftsman. Hey! This is wisdom. That's as deep. a master craftsman. Uh huh. And I was daily his delight. I was daily his delight. Rejoicing before him always. Uh huh. Rejoicing in the world, his inhabited earth. Uh huh. And having my delight in the sons of men. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Read it in the message. Amen. I was right there with him. I was right there, right here. Making sure everything wait, fit. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Wisdom. Ah, Jesus. He has a place with God. Amen. Don't she has a place with God. Don't play. It's a she, it's not a he. Wow. <laughs> Don't mind me. Amen. You see, that's another school. You need to go to understand <laughs> how to address certain entities. Wow. He says, I was right there with him, making sure everything fit. Wow. This was wisdom. 
That's the you see, the sea is you see. Where the sea is ending is because wisdom wow. has made it so. That's deep. <laughs> That's deep. What is holding this world as it is now? That it is not falling, it is not going up, it is just here. It's wisdom. Wow. That's deep. When God was creating, it's wisdom that was ensuring the mountains were, was where they are. Wow. The seas were where they are. That's what you read in the book of Job. Wow. God was asking, Job, do you know why the seas come this far and not further? Wow. Do you understand? Wisdom. That's deep. He says, day after day, I was there with my joyful applause. Always enjoying his company. Delighted with the world of things and creatures. Happily celebrating the human family. Amen. Wow. wow. Wisdom. Wisdom. You are looking at one small book and you have made it Holy <laughs> Bible. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Holy Bible. No, we should say holy wisdom. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> because that is the only being that has all the archives of God, his knowledge, his plans, his will, his laws, his instructions. He's the only one. Wow. And whenever men begin to follow their programming for life, and they begin to walk according to the plans of God, and fulfill the heartbeat of God, just like Jesus did, they are introduced to higher levels of wisdom. Amen. Glory. That is why your Bible says that Jesus, from the age 12, grew in wisdom. Wow. And in stature. That's the, oh, that's a, that's revelation. Let's go there to the book of Luke. Amen. Luke chapter 2. Let's read from the verse 51. Amen. <laughs> this is so good, Papa. Luke chapter 2, the verse 52. And Jesus increased in wisdom. He increased in wisdom and in stature. And in favor with God and man. Amen. So your Jesus. Your Jesus. Your Jesus. Per his dealings with God. In fulfilling the demands of God for his life. Grew in wisdom. Wow. That is the real archive of God. Wow. If you want to look at anything. It's wisdom. And the Holy Spirit himself. He does not come to speak of his own wisdom, according to the word of God. That, wow. All right. Wow. Oh, that's deep. The Bible says. Yeah. Yeah. That's so good. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's Jesus. Good. Let's go to uh, 1 Corinthians. Amen. First Corinthians chapter 2. Let's read from the verse 7. Amen. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. Even the hidden wisdom. There is a hidden wisdom that we speak. This is Paul talking. What, what did Paul come to preach? Wow. The wisdom of God. Amen. The message of grace is the wisdom of God. Amen. Everything you see in your Bible is the wisdom of God. Amen. How God dealt with men is the wisdom of God. What they understood about God is the wisdom of God for that age. Wow. For that time. That's because deep. wisdom also has timelines. Wow. There is a wisdom for today that will not work for tomorrow. Wow. That's so true. But then Paul was talking about some hidden stuff. Wow. Which God ordained before the world began unto our glory. Wow. Who is he speaking to? Those who have founded Christ. Or who have come into Christ. Amen. You are a particular race. 
that there is a certain level of this wisdom of God that has only been prepared for you. Wow. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So there is a special wisdom to certain people that other people are not allowed to know. That is why when Jesus came, he would speak to some in public and then speak some in public to the, with the disciples. And then another time he would take them away. That's true. And show them the hidden wisdom. Wow. The hidden wisdom. So now, if I as Prophet Glovis come and tell you something that you don't see in your Bible, it is because what I am speaking to you is hidden. Wow. Unless I say it to you, you will never know. That's real. That's real. It's but if so you good. say, if I don't see it in the word of God, it is because you are ignorant. That's real. If I don't see it in the Bible, it is because you are ignorant. Put the scripture back up. I'm, I'm not done making my point. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> he says, but we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. Even the hidden wisdom, which God ordained before the world unto our glory. Next verse. He says, which none of the princes of this world knew. For had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. Amen. So there was something that was kept from certain people. So that they can crucify Christ. Wow. So that they can crucify Christ. There was a wisdom wow. that was hidden from them. If they had that wisdom, they would have never crucified Christ. Wow. Wow. So God hides certain wisdom from people to fulfill certain purposes until a certain time before that wisdom is exposed. Wow. That's deep. Now, keep going. Next verse. He says, but as it is written, I have not seen, nor ear heard, neither have it entered into the heart of man, the things which God had prepared for them that love him. Next verse. He says, but God had revealed them unto us by his spirit. Ah. Amen. The spirit of God does not speak his own wisdom. He is coming to introduce us into that archives. Wow. The book of wisdom. It is where the Holy Spirit gets his information. That's deep. He does not come to talk about himself. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Amen. Ay, ay, ay. Amen. He said, For the Spirit searched all things, yea, the deep things of God. Amen. Next verse. For what man knoweth the things of man save the Spirit of man which is in him? Even so, the things of God knoweth no man but the Spirit of God. Amen. Now we have received not the spirit of this world, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things which are freely given unto us by God. Amen. Yay. Hallelujah. Are you still here? Are we here, Papa? And you want to go back to Holy Bible? <laughs> <laughs> Holy Bible. I'm not telling you not to read your Bible, not to study your Bible. I'm just telling you it is not the only book. That's true. It's a piece of the wisdom of God. That's true. That's why you must study because it has also the wisdom of God. Amen. Am I talking to somebody? Are you speaking to me, Papa? Every time you learn the laws of God in creation, the laws of God in his multiverse, you are exposed to that book of wisdom. Wow. That is what has been made known to you. When you see all the laws of God in the Bible, it came from that book of wisdom. That's why Moses was told, even the temple that you build, the tabernacle that you build, build it according to the patterns you saw of the things above. It's in the word. All the things in heaven and in earth came from the book of wisdom. Wow. You're still here. Are we here, Papa? So when people begin to restrict you and they tell you that 
you know, laws were for the Old Testament people. They don't understand. That's real. They don't know what they are talking about. They don't understand who God is. They are saying that out of ignorance. And I'm about to explain to you why. Wow. Go there, Papa. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Are you still here? Are we here, Papa? But understand, all the laws of God, the instructions of God, all the things, that, the things there is to know about God came from the book of wisdom. Amen. When you learn the laws of God, you are being exposed to that book, the book of wisdom. The knowledge of the book of wisdom is what was revealed to the patriarch. Even to the prophets. When wow. God was dealing with them in their time and dispensation. What they came to understand. The instructions they received from God. The directions they received from God. The laws that God gave them. The patriarchs of old. The prophets of old. Were getting that information. Because it was coming from the record book. Of wisdom. Wow. That's deep. As to how to walk as men in their day. Wow. So when we are reading their story and we are making their story, their word of God is false. Wow. Because they were only given some because of their time. That's right. And there were things that were kept from them as a mystery, the Bible tells us. Wow. That even this Jesus was a mystery to them. Wow. Many did not know the plans of God for today. They wow. looked, they, the Bible says they searched into this matter, but they, it was not given unto them wow. to know. And you see, it is also the mistake that some of them did. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Oh, here, All the prophets that you see listed in your Bible were not the only prophets that existed in that time. Wow. That's so true. All the righteous men you saw in your Bible. Abraham. He was not the only righteous man. man. So Job true. was not the only righteous man. The Bible didn't just tell you about all of them. That's real. But you see, even Abraham made that mistake. Wow. He thought, because he had come to know this God, Yahweh. He was the only one that knew about this God. Wow. And so, on his journey away from his people to the land which God will show him, the Bible says he was afraid that other nations who didn't know God, when they see him and his wife, because his wife was beautiful, they will kill him and take his wife. Wow. Then the Bible tells us that Abraham said to Sarah, say that you are my sister, not my wife. That's so true. When we go to this nation, and the Bible says they went to a particular nation, a king known as Abimelech, yep. which Abraham thought that king did not know God. <laughs> wow. I'm about to break something from you. Too. Wow, break it down, Papa. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, when you read the book of Genesis, the chapter number 20, let's read Genesis, chapter number 20. Amen. Because, you know, even today, the Jews believed that they were the only chosen people. And they were the only people God ever revealed himself to. That's real. You see, it is like thinking that because you are chosen by God, there was nobody else God had any dealings with. Wow. Are you there? Genesis. Read Genesis, from the verse 1. Genesis 20, the verse 1. And Abraham journeyed. From thence toward the south country, uh -huh. and dwell between Kadesh and Shur, and sojourn in Ge Jehera. And Abraham said of Sarah, his wife, she is my sister. And Abim uh, how you pronounce it? And Abimelech, king of Gera, sent and took Sarah. Next verse. But God came to Abimelech in a dream. God came to Abimelech in a dream by night and said unto him, Behold, thou art but a dead man for the woman which thou hast taken, for she is a man's wife. Amen. Next verse. But Abimelech 
had not come near her, and he said, Lord. <laughs> Abimelech did not say, who are you? Wow. Lord, will thou slay also a righteous nation? Wow. It's in the word. They thought they were the only righteous people. Abimelech is asking God. Aye, 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 aye. That's deep. That's deep. <laughs> will thou slay also a righteous nation? But according to Abraham's people, they were the only righteous people. Because watch what Abraham is about to say very soon. Next verse. He says, said he not unto me, she is my sister. And she even herself said, he is my brother. He's, he says, in the integrity of my heart and innocency of my hands have I done this. And God said unto him in a dream, Yea, I know that thou didst this in the integrity of thy heart. For I also withheld thee from sinning against me. Wow. It's in the word. That's deep. Therefore, suffered I thee not to touch her. Next verse. Now therefore, restore the man his wife. For he is a prophet. And he shall pray for thee, and thou shalt live. And if thou restore her not, know that thou shalt surely die. Thou and all that are dying. Next verse. Therefore Abimelech rose early in the morning, and called all his servants, and told all these things in their ears, and the men were sore afraid. Then Abimelech called Abraham and said unto him, What hast thou done unto us? And what have I offended thee, that thou hast brought on me and on my kingdom a great sin? This is a righteous man talking. Amen. Thou hast done deeds unto me that ought not to be done. That ought not to be done. This is a righteous man talking. It's in the word. And Abimelech said unto Abraham, What sowest thou? And <laughs> that thou hast done this thing. What were you thinking? Wow. What did you think of us? Next verse. And Abraham said, Because I thought, not because God said. Surely the fear of God is not in this place. Wow. That's what he thought. That's the, And they will slay me for my wife's sake. That's what he thought. He thought he was the only believer in God. Wow. Because you think when God appears to you, he didn't appear to anybody else. Wow. That's why they made this Bible, Holy Bible. <laughs> wow. So we look here, nowhere else. That's the... Imagine the archives and the information that Abimelech the king, who was over a righteous nation, who was not a Hebrew. Yes, yes. That information that we missed concerning Abimelech and his people and their dealings with God. Wow. You're still here? Oh, we here, Papa. <laughs> God was appearing to other men, not only prophet Elijah, yeah. not only Jeremiah, the ones you know. There were other prophets deeper than Elijah. Believe me. Wow. wow. That worked with God. That's deep. I tell you, one of them was just mentioned in passing Enoch. Yeah. 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 Do you know there's a whole book of Enoch? Yeah. Let's not go into that matter today. Oh, that's deep. <laughs> they were Deeper than deeper prophets. Oh, because Elijah brought down fire from heaven, you think he's deep. <laughs> you have not read about the story of prophets. Wow. The book of the prophets. You have not read. Wow. You will understand who God really is when you are exposed to all that there is to know about him. 
Wow. Amen. This Bible, you make it your totality, it will become your limitation. Wow. That's the, that's a gem right there. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. I'm saying this. I need to break some religious mold before I take you into some realms. Amen. Ah. Hallelujah. <laughs> because if I come and start saying certain things here, you look at me like, where is this guy coming from? That's real. Because you are judging me based on this limited book. That's real. Very limited. I've already done that expose. You should go watch the video. Why Prophet Glove is thinking the Bible is limited. Amen. It's there on YouTube. Amen. Very limited. It's authentic, but limited. Wow. It's true, but limited. Wow. I'm not saying don't read your Bible. Hey, you need it. <laughs> because you don't have anything else. They have not shown you anything else. This is all you have right now. That's true. <laughs> And I will not tell you anything else because this one is on your counter for weeks. You have not touched. <laughs> <laughs> and you want something else. <laughs> Who are you deceiving? <laughs> That's real. It is because you are not interested in knowing God. Wow. If you are interested in knowing God, you will not sleep until you find, you research something. You understand something better. Amen. From this one book that you have. Amen. You will not sleep. The hunger I have for God is not because the Bible is telling me to read. To read the word. Eh, eh. It is because wisdom wants to have dealings with men. Amen. 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 That's why I'm looking into that. Hallelujah. Wisdom's delight is with man. Amen. He wants to show men all there is to know about God. Amen. The creator. Because if I come and say something like, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Amen. <laughs> that is not God you should be calling him. His name God. Is, the word God is not his name. Wow. Are you still here? We're here. You see, when we say God, we are actually not only speaking about him. You are also talking about you. Wow. That's deep. So God does not give him his true essence. Wow. He is Yahweh. Amen. Creator of all things. Amen. Creator. That's the real name <laughs> or address. When you want to address that being, it's creator, not God, because you are God too. Wow. That's the... <laughs> Let's leave that part. Wow, I'm going there, Papa. <laughs> Enlighten us. Are you still here? Are we here, Papa? We don't understand the greatness of this being. That's your problem. That's real. When God appeared to Abimelech, Abimelech didn't ask him, who are you? Abimelech knew. He says, are you going to judge a righteous nation? Yeah, yeah. Wow. A righteous nation. A righteous nation. What does that mean? It means we know you. We know you. Wow. And we know that you cannot judge a righteous nation. That's why I'm asking you the question. Wow. <laughs> we know who you are. And Abraham, remember Abraham. Abraham was Asking God, when God was going to Sodom and Gomorrah to destroy it, he says, are you going to destroy the nation if they have uh, 50 righteous people? God said, no. 30, wow. no. Oh, that's 20, deep. no. 10, no. That's deep. It's a knowledge among prophets. Wow. They know the righteousness of God. They know what God can do and what he cannot do because they have been exposed to his laws. Wow. That's deep. The wisdom archives have been made known unto them. They know what he does and what he doesn't do. Wow. Hey. 
Hello. Are we here, Papa? When you listen to a message like this, you know that you have work to do. That's so true. All the time that we are wasting here, fighting each other, fighting this church, fighting this church, this pastor, you are, you are making the, the, oh, no wonder Jesus says, the children of this world are wiser than the children of the kingdom. Wow. Can you imagine? That's deep. Because what they are going in to understand, we are not even concerned. Wow. We don't, we are not even concerned. We don't want to look into certain matters. We are afraid demons will get us because you are not powerful. That's your problem. That's real. Go there, Papa. What you have is not authentic. That's why you're afraid. That's deep. So when I talked about the knowledge of darkness, at the beginning, people say, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> knowledge of darkness. Uh -uh. <laughs> You're still there, somebody. Are we here, Papa? Am I talking to you here? Are you speaking to me, Papa? Are you ready to go home? Oh, no, we're ready to hear more. I can see it in your eyes. Oh, we want to hear more. <laughs> <laughs> Glory to God. Glory. Abimelech had encountered God before. Wow. And he knew God. You see, you can presume... Because God has chosen you, that he has not revealed himself to anyone else. And that is what they have made of the Bible. And make, make the Bible the holy book. And so they think that God has not revealed himself to anybody else. Wow. Anybody else. So they say, don't look into those things. All you need for your life is the Bible. Who told you that? That's so true. The Bible doesn't even say it. That's so true. Who told you that? Who gave you that impression? Or is it some doctrine that has been placed in your mind somewhere? Because there is no way you can effectively tell me why this is all I need for my life. There's no, none. Wow. Because for you to tell me that, you have to first understand God's plan for my life. That's real. Hey. <laughs> now I'm taking matters to, be, to a very deep place. <laughs> Amen. If you say to me that the Bible is all I need for my life, you have to first understand what God's plan for my life is. That's so true. And nobody can tell you about God's plan for your life better than you can know it. Yeah. That's real. No one has the perfect information of the plan of God for your life except you. That's so true. When prophets come, they give you a word of knowledge. Yeah. Wow. We prophesy in part, the Bible says. We don't prophesy in full. That's true. If you are prophetic, good too. I, <laughs> I showed you why prophecy is not enough to live your life with. Wow. I just want to hear the prophet call my name and tell me where I stay and my life will be okay. You see, <laughs> that's all you think life is about. Go there, Papa. You are not interested in knowing God. And that's why you continue to struggle. You continue to suffer. That's real. Because you are not living in your Godhood. Because you don't know God. That's you real. don't know his love. Amen. That's so good, Papa. So the devil has helped to foster churches that only amplify one aspect of God and says nothing else. Prophecy, 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 prophecy. And you're rejoicing because you think that is so special. That's real. You think to prophesy is special. That's class one. That's real. Class one. The wisdom book. <laughs> the book of wisdom. There are things that are still hidden that even the church has not even come to. Wow. That's deep. Paul only told you about prophecy and speaking in tongues. And you have made that a religion. 
Wow. You think that's all there is. Anybody who comes with something else is of the devil. Wow. Because you think all there is is speaking in tongues, prophecy, healing. And I'm about to come, ag- <laughs> come after the healing ministry of people very soon. Wow. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. If I don't expose these things, you won't learn. And we will not grow as a church. That's real. <laughs> glory to God. Glory. I said glory to God. Glory. So when you think, because God has appeared to you, he has never talked to anybody else, it's ignorance. That's real. It's ignorance. So the laws of God are not the only, are not only what you see in your Bible. The laws of God are beyond what you see in your Bible. The Amen. book of wisdom contains all the laws of God. Amen. All the instructions of God. Amen. All the laws of God in his multiverse. His purpose, his plans, his will is archived in the book of wisdom. Which is an eternal book. And wisdom continues to expand. That book continues to expand. Wow. That's continues deep. to expand. As God is expressing himself, the more the book is increasing. Amen. The book is increasing. Amen. Think about the instructions, the laws God gave to Moses. Think about all of that. It is not all there is. Wow. Think about all that God said to Abraham, to Isaac, to Jacob. All that God said to Elijah. The prophets, it is not all there is. Wow. In Christianity, you would think all you see in your Bible is all there is. But in spirituality, spirituality, which is actually what Christianity is supposed to be. Amen. Because Jesus was not a Christian. I already dealt with that. Please go and watch our expose on what is a Christian. Amen. Or what is Christianity? Beautiful. <laughs> Amen. Are you still there? Are we here, Papa? Was Jesus a Christian? No. Nope. Did he ever call himself a Christian? No. Nope. Do you know the name Christian was an insult? Wow. That's deep. What Jesus had was disciples, were students. That's true. Of the way of life. That's true. Jesus did not come to give you a religion to follow. That's true. He didn't have one. That's real. He said there is neither Jew nor Gentiles. It is not about Jew. It's about God, that being. (laughs) Amen. (laughs) Hallelujah. He must be known by all men, not Christians. Amen. And you see, the problem is that they gave you this religion, Christianity, and they kept you locked up and said that you are the only ones that know about God. It's a lie also. I'll find another day and talk about that one. Wow. That's deep. That's deep. Hallelujah. Just in simple, simple reasoning and logical deduction. Hey, are you still here? We're here, Papa. (laughs) Abraham, was he a Christian? No. Because Jesus Christ was not here. Hello. Are we here, Papa? Did God reveal himself to Abraham? Yes, he did. So does God reveal himself only to Christians? Oh, that's deep. No. That's that's simple. Simple logical deduction. You should know. Because the prophets of old were not called Christians. That's real. They didn't know Jesus. But now, we that have received Jesus, and we have this religion that has been given to us called Christian. Christianity is not a religion, no. It has a religion, but it is not a religion. That's real. And the religion of Christianity is to give arms. Religion is the word practices. Wow. We are not a practice. That's real. (laughs) That's real. We are a way of life. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Glory. And in this way of life, we disperse and expense the knowledge of God. Amen. To all men. So say, I'm a Christian. You are not a Christian. Amen. You are beyond a Christian. You are God. Amen. That Godhood, I've not even touched on what that means. That's deep. I say you are God. Amen. I receive it. <laughs> I told you the gods are coming. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because you cannot express the creator without being a God. Wow. That's deep. People of God. Men of God. It's so much to say. Amen. Roger, why are you looking at me in that kind of tone? <laughs> He's like. <laughs> Glory to God. Glory. Are you still here? We're here, Papa. You will need to become spiritual, not become a Christian. That's you will real. need to become spiritual to understand all there is to know about God. Amen. Spirituality is what many in the world are going into. That's so true. But they are doing it without Christ. That's real. Who is the way, the truth, and the life Amen. into all there is to know? That's so true. The difference is that you have Christ as your headmaster. Amen. That's true. Amen. Amen. But it doesn't mean God is not revealing himself to those people. Understand wow. this. Wow. I will take time another day. That's deep. <laughs> yeah. That's deep. Hello, somebody. Are we here, Papa? That's why the Bible says, Jesus says, I will send the spirit of truth. He will guide you into all truth. Amen. He will guide you into all truth. Jesus. He will guide you into all truth. Lift up your hands and thank him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You are such a great God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Yahweh. Jesus name. So understand that the laws of God are vast. The laws of God in his universe are vast, are beyond your Bible. It will take us a lifetime to exhaust all there is to know about the laws of God. Wow. The question is, why are there so many laws? Why? Mm. Do you want to know? Yes. yes, Papa. Why are there so many laws of God? Why so many? Why so many books? Why so many things Jesus said? And the books could not contain. And even there were things that he could not even say. Why so many things to know? Why so many laws of God given to Moses? A whole 600 and over 600 laws. Why so many? Is it to burden the people? It is because you must first understand why you were created. Wow. Are you still here? We're here, Papa. You were not made for things. I'll say it again. You were not made to become something wow. in this world. You were not made to become a great singer. You were not made to become a great evangelist. Wow. A great prophet. Please, that is far from it. 
as the you were made to become the expression of God. Amen. That's so good. Hallelujah. And because of that, you cannot become the full totality of who God is and express it without knowing who he is. That's so true. And how do we know who he is? Is by coming into understanding of his laws. Amen. That's deep. So throughout your lifetime, your life should be given to know his laws. Wow. So that you can express him the more. Amen. Because without the laws of God, we don't know how he thinks. That's true. We don't know what he does. That's so real. We don't know what he likes to do. We don't know his desires. Amen. It is the laws of God that formulates the image of who God is in your heart and in your mind. Wow. How can we live to know God without knowing his laws? Wow. That's deep. The New Testament is not about the laws of God. It's about grace. Grace. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Forget about the laws. It's a deception. Wow. Jesus did not come. He says, I didn't come to do away with the laws. I came to perfect it. That's so true. And to complete it. Amen. And he didn't complete it. Wow. Because he didn't tell us everything. That's deep. That's why he sent the Holy Spirit. Wow. Amen. That's so good. Because the Holy Spirit is Allos Paracletos, another one of the same kind. He is just like me. Wow. That's why he said he would not speak of himself, but he will speak of everything that I tell him. Wow. You're still there, somebody. Are we here, Papa? The knowledge of the laws of God express the character, the nature, the power, the wisdom of God. Everything you need to know is imbibed within his laws. Everything you need to know about God is hidden within his laws. Wow. When you can break the codes of his laws, you will understand who God is. Wow. But if you are limited by this book, you will never know that thing. Wow. And you will never be able to fully express it. That's deep. It is what Satan has known about God that is what makes his work so effective. Wow. wow. That's deep. You're still here. Are we here? If you don't know the laws of God, you really have no idea about that being. Wow. You don't know who you're dealing with. You don't know who you're dealing with. For example, <laughs> as part of the laws of God, in the Bible, we need to learn and to understand that there are spiritual laws that are not written in your Bible. Because if I tell you, brother, the hair on your head, the hair on your beard, the hair on your chest, all your other pubic hair, you should never put them together. What wow. would you say? Wow. You say, where is that in the Bible? Show me. <laughs> That's real. I know you're an ignorant person. Wow. I want to take you somewhere. That's where I'm about to. Oh, take us there, I've Papa. said everything to take you here. Take us there, Papa. <laughs> Hallelujah. What would you say? You would think Prophet Glovis is once karma in town. Yeah. 
it is it's an error to do that according to spiritual laws. Wow. You shouldn't put them together. Wow. I'll tell you about that another time. <laughs> wow. That's deep. You're still here? Over here, Papa. You see the soap that you use, right? Right. To wash your body. You should never use the same soap to wash your underwear. Wow. Vice versa. You should never use the soap you wash your underwear and wash your body. You are bringing <clears throat> curses upon yourself you don't even know. Wow. wow. And a curse doesn't mean that somebody said something. It's something that hinders you from fulfilling or going, fulfilling a purpose or going further. Wow. wow. It is an obstruction of the flow of life that you're supposed to have. Wow. That's what a curse is. When God said, I have cursed the earth, it obstructed the flow of life man should have. Wow. That's what it cares is. The kind of life he was supposed to live, he couldn't live that life. That's deep. So a curse is not when somebody stands with some muti in their hands and say, ah, you would die tomorrow. <laughs> no. <laughs> Whatever obstructs the flow of life you're supposed to have has become a curse unto you. Wow. Because if it's not a curse, it's a blessing. And a blessing facilitates the flow of your life. Amen. Thank you, Papa. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Are you still here? Oh, we here, Papa. But imagine I'm telling you just these two things. There are so many things. That are of the laws of God. Wow. That we miss on a daily basis and we don't perform on a daily basis. So many of them. So many of the laws of God. And I, I want you to get it because this way I'm taking you. Amen. I want you to know that it is a lot of them. A lot of them. Amen. Please, you must know the laws of God are many. They are vast. Thank you. Not few. I'm not trying to make Christianity sound easy by telling you, oh... There are no, there are, there are just 66 books you should look, to, look into. <laughs> no, there are many laws of God. It is not because of you. It is because of him. I'm about to show you. Wow. Amen. There are many. Somebody say there are many. There are many. Many laws of God. Amen. Many. These laws of God in creation. Are his standard. <laughs> the laws of God, all these many laws, the ones you know, the ones you know, the ones in your Bible, the ones that you have not read, they are his standard. The laws of God, they awaken you to his greatness and his righteousness. The laws of God. All the laws, the ones you have known, the ones you don't know, the ones you are still learning. They are supposed to awaken you to his greatness and to his righteousness. Amen. That is why the word of God says, Hayando Blakataya. Hallelujah. In Isaiah 64, verse 6, he says, Our righteousness is as filthy rags. Wow. It's in the word. Let's go to it. <laughs> Isaiah 64, the verse 6. Uh -huh. But we are all as an unclean this thing. This is Isaiah the prophet. He says, human beings understand our reality. We are all as unclean things. And our righteousness are as filthy rags. Before the great God. Wow. They are as filthy rags. But do you know, this scripture has been greatly misunderstood. Wow. Okay. 
the reason the Bible is saying that our righteousness are as filthy rags. It is not because of us. It is because of God. Wow. <laughs> That's deep. Because the laws of God, remember, reveals his greatness and his righteousness. Amen. And all of the laws of God show his standard for life. Amen. But I know you have been taught that you cannot live up to the laws of God. So don't try. That's real. Because Jesus came to do it for you. That's real. <laughs> Help us, Papa. You see, it's these little foxes that spoil the vine. Wow. These little things that have been said to us over time that has corrupted our impression not only of God, but of who we are. That's so true. Because you don't understand why you were created. That's real. You were created to express God. Amen. That's why God could stand before Abraham and tell Abraham, Abraham, I know you are a human being, but walk before me and be perfect. Wow. Hey. That's in the word. Demonstrate my righteousness, Abraham. Amen. And we are telling people, don't try, don't try, don't try. Wow. Listen to me. Are you still here? We're here, Papa. Jesus came to fulfill the demands of the laws of God for sin. For your on your behalf. Amen. Because according to the laws of God, the one with the sin cannot save himself. Wow. So it takes one without sin to become a payment wow. for the laws of God that demanded death for sin. Wow. That's deep. So what Jesus came to do was to pay for the capital punishment for sin. Wow. That's the legalities. Legalities. He didn't come to do all the laws of God so that you don't do it. That's so true. That is a false message. Wow. You are here to express him. And you cannot express him without expressing his laws. Wow. That's without deep. living by his laws. But God knew that man had broken the covenant. That he had with him. And brought about a certain penalty. Based also upon the laws of God. That anyone who sins deserves death. Capital punishment. So Jesus came to remove that from our heads. Amen. So that we can walk freely. That even when you break the law of God. You are not charged to death. Wow. You can continue trying. Thank you Jesus. Amen. Thank you Lord Jesus. And in the Old Testament, the, the blood of bulls and goats could only prevent them from death for one year. Wow. If they didn't sacrifice, they will now be chargeable by death. Wow. But Jesus, his sacrifice was a permanent sacrifice. Amen. To always remove the capital punishment away from you Amen. when you falter with the law. Jesus. Glory. Are you catching this? Oh, yeah, we're here, Papa. Not saying that Jesus came to, you know, do the laws for you so you wouldn't have to do it. That is bad, terrible preaching. Wow. Because you're not allowing the people to express Godhood. Wow. That's deep. And they tell you, you can't, you can't. How will you ever do? How? How can you ever do? That's real. Because you have believed, you have been conditioned to think you can't. That's so true. No wonder we cannot walk as gods. Wow. That's deep. So 
So when you see one like me coming to tell you about loss, you think I'm trying to burden your life. I'm trying to show you how to express God. Amen. Because that's why you were created. Hallelujah. Thank you, Papa. This is so good. How to express that system called the creator, that life called the creator. Amen. Don't be waiting for prophecy. <laughs> I'm here to teach God's people. Amen. That's my job. Amen. I only prophesy when I feel like it. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. Are you still here? We're here, Papa. My job, this knowledge, the more, listen, the more I bring these things to you and open these things to you, you will not need me to prophesy to you anymore. That's real. Hallelujah. I'm telling Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Because once your mind is open like this, you are now opening yourself to the realm of the Spirit. Amen. And I everything receive. you need to know will be made bare and plain to you. I receive. But they want you to come to them so that you can be sowing seeds yep. for prophecy. That's so real. That's why they only teach you about prophecy. Yep. Wow. They say nothing else. Come on. That's deep. I'm not against prophecy. I prophesy too, right? Right. I'm just telling you, we cannot keep the children of God with no information. When God is saying, my people are perishing for their lack of knowledge. That's so true. That's deep. Oh, that's good, Papa. And all we come to church to do is to prophesy, prophesy. No teaching. That's deep. And when we say that, people think, hey, we are speaking against them. I'm not speaking. I'm just talking about the truth. Amen. If you happen to be convicted, repent. That's all. That's real. Are you still here? I'm here, Papa. So what Jesus came to do was to remove the capital punishment of death. Wow. So even when you break the law, you don't have death behind you. Wow. And that's what Satan has brought to many of you and placed that guiltiness of sin. The part two of the concept of sin will, will wow you. Wow. I've only touched on something very little. When we come to the real concept of sin, you... <laughs> That's deep. You will know that all the guilty conscience you've been having, <laughs> it was a waste of your time. Wow. That's deep. Because what people call sin is not what God calls sin. Wow. wow. That's deep. You may look at me and see what I'm doing and think, ah, this guy is sinning. It's because of your impression of sin, not because of what I know sin is. That's deep. So when I look at people, when they start judging other people for what they are doing, I just laugh. When you understand God higher, when you understand his mind, when you know how he thinks, you stop judging people. That's true. Because the prostitute can be an honored person in your Bible. Wow. That's deep. Jesus says, wherever this gospel shall be preached, this thing that this prostitute have done, you must mention her name. I don't care about her background. That's real. And there's a prostitute called Rahab that did the work of God with her prostitution. Wow. <laughs> That's deep. Let's leave that part. <laughs> Let's leave it alone. Leave it alone. <laughs> Before they say, I'm trying to send people's children into a certain way of life. No. <laughs> I'm not there. <laughs> I'm not there. We'll get into some serious matters. Amen. And listen. <laughs> Amen. I will ask you questions also, and I will need answers from you. Wow. <laughs> Amen. That's how Jesus dealt with some religious folks. He will ask them questions. If you ask me this, I'll also ask you a question. That's true. If you can answer me, then I can answer you. Wow. Because what we have termed sin, hey, <laughs> when you understand God and you know spirituality, you begin to realize, ah, we have missed it. That's deep. The church, we have missed it big time. Wow. Big time. And my heart is always boiling. Because the more I found out about, find out about God, my heart is boiling. So what are these people teaching? That's so true. Hello, somebody. Are we here, Papa? Somebody, tell somebody, judge no man. Judge no man. 
judge no man. If you are not spiritual, you are not, you are not supposed to judge. It says he that is spiritual is the one that judges all things. That's true. Unless you understand, you have spiritual knowledge. Not Bible knowledge, spiritual knowledge. Amen. Because Amen. there is knowledge beyond this Bible. Understand what I'm telling you. Amen. You're still there? Oh, we're here, Papa. There is no scriptures, no scripture that supports that man cannot live by the laws of God. None. Zero. Wow. The problem was their hearts. And God fixed that problem by sending the Holy Spirit. Amen. I will put my laws in their hearts. I will give them a new spirit. Amen. And put my laws in their hearts and cause them to walk after my ways. Wow. That's deep. No scripture that supports that you cannot live up to the laws of God. No. You are just afraid that you're going to break it. But if you break the laws, we have an advocate, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You are covered. The grace of God does not exempt you from living according to his laws. Only that when you break the law, you are no longer going to be punished with capital punishment wow. that Jesus paid for your sin. That's the... Because to break any law according to God's standard, you are supposed to die. Wow. But Jesus took that charge away from you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Because he wants you to keep learning. Keep learning about God. Wow. Keep understanding who he is. He wants you to keep knowing him. But if death comes, it's over with. And that was eternal damnation. That's the kind of death. That's the capital punishment. Where you are removed from the presence of God. Wow. That was the capital punishment for breaking any law. Wow. Who wouldn't want to receive this Jesus? Yeah. That's so true. <laughs> so that that capital punishment can be taken away from their head. That's so true. And they are going to other ways to seek. That's fine. But the, if you break a law, understand, you still have capital punishment. Wow. Is this making sense? It's making sense. Thank you, Jesus. Your Bible is coming alive. Amen. And it's the reason why I'm saying it's your Bible. <laughs> it's not our Bible. It's your Bible. <laughs> so we say, how could he be making a mockery of the Bible? It's because of that holy thing you see on there. That's why you are feeling that way. Wow. When you're exposed to the truth, the things you say, people think you're making a mockery. No. It is because there are higher things than this, and you're only looking here. That's real. That's why you think I'm making a mockery because you think this is the only one. The only. That's real. What kind of church have you come into? <laughs> Amen. A supernatural church. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That's why I love Jesus. Because he took away the capital punishment. Thank you, Jesus. From my head. He took away. He paid the debt. He did not owe. I owed a debt I could not pay. I needed someone. I needed someone to help me. Amen. That's why I'm following Jesus. Amen. All the other guys who came, they are beautiful, nice guys. They say some nice things. Whether it's true or false, that's their problem. But Jesus, Jesus is my guy. Amen. 
who's your guy? You heard that song? <laughs> Jesus is my guy. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Someone say, Jesus is my guy. Jesus is my guy. That's the guy I follow. Not because the Bible told me so. Hey, are you still here? Yeah. We're here. Because before the Bible said anything, there were men who spoke about this man. That's true. When you come into spirituality, you will know that <laughs> if you're only looking at the Bible, you don't know much. Wow. That's yeah, deep. You don't know much. That's why we seem to be defenseless against systems of this world, against witches and wizards. Because wow. we don't know much. That's true. Are you still here? We're here, yeah. Papa. So now, Christ came and took away the capital punishment for breaking the law. Now, all these laws of God are there to help us understand who God is, how great he is, his righteousness. So then, when Isaiah, put the scripture back up, Isaiah 64, verse 6. When Isaiah was awakened to this truth, he said, we are unclean. Wow. Because per my understanding of the laws of God, we are unclean things. He says, our righteousness, they are filthy rags. Wow. Because compared to me knowing about God's standard for life, the things that I have been doing so far, filthy rags. Filthy wow. Rags. He was not talking about us. He was trying to help us understand God. Amen. That this God, he is so great, wow. so mighty, and has all these laws to show us his standard. Wow. His righteousness. Amen. That to gather your hair all together is his righteousness wow. being broken. That's deep. <laughs> To put your left foot first into your shoes, like I taught you last Sunday, is about his righteousness. Wow. His righteousness. He's trying to show you how big, how perfect he is. That's the, amen. His perfection. Why all this loss? Because of his perfection. Wow. That's the king of majesty. Who is like him? You want to do away with the laws? You can never know his perfection. Wow. You can never understand his greatness, his righteousness. So Isaiah said, we are unclean. Wow. For our righteousness, they are as filthy rags. Wow. We are unclean. That tells us how far away you are from Godhood, which you were created to express. Wow. That's deep. And you want to go to places where they don't alert you on what you are supposed to be doing here. Wow. You think you came to be a great evangelist, a great prophet. You don't know. Wow. You don't understand. That's it's deep. called an office. It is not who you are. Oh, that's deep. That's a gem right there. Amen. Hallelujah. You are the full expression of God. Amen. And the creation is waiting for your manifestation. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I say hallelujah. Praise the Lord. How high is he? Most high. Most high. Amen. Amen. His wisdom is past finding out, the Bible says. It's too deep. 
too deep. The great God Jehovah, as I like to call him. Amen. Amen. The great God Jehovah. Amen. The laws were given to know his holiness. You know, when you come to a king and say his holiness, you're talking about his greatness, his standard. Amen. His standard. But you are living like, you know, these things are not for you because you are afraid of breaking the laws. You are not going to have capital punishment. You have been exempt. Amen. Amen. Because you have received the one who was sent to remove it. Amen. Amen. So don't, don't say, I, I don't, you know, all I want to do is just receive the grace of God and keep living my life the way I want to live it. You will never express God. Wow. But that was the assignment. That's why you were created. Amen. God was tired of being alone and he wanted somebody to express him. Wow. That's deep. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I say hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Remember, you cannot know him without his laws. You cannot understand who he is without his laws. Wow. Don't be afraid of looking into the laws of God of creation, for creation, for mankind. Don't be afraid. When I come and tell you certain things and it seems strange to your ears, I'm showing you his holiness. Amen. His righteousness. Amen. His greatness. Amen. His majesty. Glory. How perfect he is. Amen. That's what I'm trying to introduce to you. And the more you begin to follow that same pattern, you express him. Hallelujah. More and, more. and all of these are recorded in the book of wisdom. Amen. Stand to your feet, everybody. Amen. Today, I want to take a special seed. There are a few things that I want um, this church to be able to have. And I want you to partner with what we're doing here. Amen. There are a few things we're trying to reconstruct and to do in this place. All right. And I want you to partner with us. Amen. So I want you to take a special seed. I need those who can give a thousand, five thousand, ten thousand, whatever you can give. All right. Whatever is to your measure, to the degree God has blessed you and you can do now. I want you to sow that seed as your offering today. Amen. All right. So we can handle some of the things we're trying to do here. Amen. 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 So take out your special seed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Paragosha Kadebasa. Shombra de Gosambra de Gasa. Brother, sing something for us. Something, something that makes us dance or something. ready Amen. to give please stand and raise your seed up high for me please give the best you can I'm not telling you what to give I just want you to give the best you can so we can do what we need to do nothing can separate 
living different when the way your love never fail your love know that we make mistakes your mercies for me every day your love never fails your love You stay the same through the ages Your love never changes There may be pain in the night But joy comes in the morning When the oceans rage I don't have to be afraid Because I know that you love me your love never fails. Whoever is switching. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Your love never fails. Raise your seat up high. Raise your seat they up high. Raise your seat up high. Moli kat i kol pal amatela. Bonj da vrabategos o faradats. Just a minute. Kule me ombre eko teli i kosabalai. Father, in the name of Jesus, when you were building your temple, you instructed them to bring something and no one should be exempted from bringing something to build your house. Lord, as they are connecting to this house, I decree that every grace be channeled toward them. Amen. I receive. Every grace be channeled toward you now. Amen. I receive. Whatever grace you require this season, as a response to the word of a prophet, I decree the prophetic covers are open unto you. I receive it. Yay. Hallelujah. May the house of God always be your refuge. I receive it. Thank you, May Jesus. you always find your answers whenever you step into this house. Amen. I receive May it. May you always find solutions to your problem wherever you step into this house. I receive it. May every word from my mouth, because of your connection to this house, Amen. may every word from my mouth yield result in your life. I receive it. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. As you connect and establish yourself by ceding to the structure and the building of this house, so you have been connected to the graces and the blessings of this house. I receive it with gladness and joy. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree that whenever God blesses me, it shows up in your life. Amen. I receive it. Whenever Hallelujah. God increases me, it shows up in your life. I receive it. Whenever God increases this house, may it show up in your life. I receive it. In Hallelujah. the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Even in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Somebody shout a big amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come joyfully and give and follow the leading of the ushers, please. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Music, guys.
you came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross dead to pay from the cross to the grave from the red to the sky lord i lift your name on Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. You came from heaven, from heaven to earth to show the way. From the air to the cross, my debt to pay. From the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name on high. You came from heaven. Say, you came from heaven to earth to show the way. From the air to the cross. My debt to pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. Oh, yeah. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. You came from heaven, you came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My debt to pay. From the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name on high. Oh, yeah. Lord, I lift your name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Have you been blessed today? Oh, we've been mightily blessed. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, when you go back home, start from your Bible. Amen. <laughs> the book of books. <laughs> Amen. 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 When you go back home, start from there. Begin to understand the laws of God. In creation but then be open to the other ways by which the Holy Spirit will minister to you amen are you listening to me are we here Papa be open to it amen don't be afraid you love God right yes. oh yes we yes. do you love Jesus right yes. oh yes we do without a doubt yes. yes without a shadow of a doubt yes so nothing can separate you from the love of God that's true yes. are you sure Yes. Don't be afraid. Amen. Don't be afraid. Yes. What shall separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus? Yes. Amen. Don't be afraid. Amen. 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 The Lord bless you and keep you. Hallelujah. The Lord makes his face shine upon you. I receive it. The Lord gives you and makes his countenance to overwhelm you. I receive it. The Lord gives you a and peace. I receive it. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus I Christ. I bless this week for you. I receive it. May you experience manifold blessings this week. I receive it. Multiple blessings this week. I receive it. I decree in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
Enjoy your Sunday today. Do something fun today, all right? Amen. God bless you. Shalom, everybody. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to Jesus.